What is up creators? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to this Lightroom tutorial for beginners. Today, we're gonna to dive into HSL, a powerful tool that allows us to alter our colors individually in a very precise manner. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, creators, once we've imported our images and selected the one that we're gonna start editing, we're gonna select the develop module over here to start editing. Now at the right, right now it's minimized, but we can select it. This is our editing panel. Here we're gonna find all the tools to edit our image. And if we scroll down, we're gonna find HSL just around here. HSL stands for Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. Are These are the segments that this panel allows us to edit. So let's start off with our first segment, which is Hue. Now Hue allows us to change the tonality of our colors. Now, as you can see, you can alter the colors to the nearest proximate. So for example, the reds, we can only change them towards the oranges and towards the magentas, but we cannot change them into greens or into blues or into aquas. So it's a bit of a conservative tool. For more drastic edits, you would have to go into masks or into Photoshop to change the colors completely. So let's say that we want to change our sky into aquas or into a teal color. We can basically move the blues towards the negative and as you can see, it's changing the color. We can also introduce the value manually by clicking over here and with our keyboard with the numbers, we can introduce a specific value. Another way is to select the name of blue and with negative and plus on your keyboard, you can move the value by a 5%. So it all depends on what you want to use. Now, maybe you're not quite sure which color that you need to move is in which slider. So for that, you can always select over here the eyedropper and you can select a color and as you can see if we click and move up and down we're moving the red and the oranges in our slides so this is telling us that this color that we're trying to alter is composed by oranges and red so we have to keep that in mind so that's a great way you can select a color that maybe you're not too sure which slider controls so with hue we can alter the colors that we have on our image but remember to be a bit conservative you don't want to go to the extreme and create an edit that is completely unnatural Next, let's move into saturation. Now in this segment, we can alter the intensity of our colors. We can basically use it to draw the attention of our viewer to a specific part of the image or to take it away. So as an example, let's say that you want our viewers to really pay attention to the facades of the buildings. For that, I'm gonna move the saturation of the oranges towards the positives. I notice how they're a lot more vibrant and as a consequence, they're a lot more dominant in our composition. So this is a great way to draw the attention of your viewer to a specific part of the image. In an opposite scenario, let's say that we want to draw the attention of the viewer into the sky, which is our central subject. Now we can amp the saturation, but that would be a bit unnatural to amp up the saturation of the blues and it becomes a bit gimmicky, a bit HDR. Instead, what we want to do is reduce the saturation of the oranges. And notice if we bring this oranges down, how the facades are a bit more muted and now our attention draws towards the blues, which are the most dominant and saturated color. So saturation is a great tool to emphasize the attention of the viewer into specific parts of our image. Next, let's move into luminance. Now in luminance, you can brighten a color or darken it. Notice that it's similar to saturation, but instead of adding more color or reducing it, you're adding more white or more black. So again, this is a great tool to emphasize the attention of the viewer into specific part of the image. So continuing with the previous example, let's say that we want to bring more attention towards the architecture. So we will go with the reds and the oranges towards the positives and notice how they start to brighten up. Notice how it's different to saturation. We're not adding more color or intensity, we're just adding more white. Now, opposite to that, we want to darken them. We can go towards the negatives and we're introducing more black into these colors. So as you can see, HSL is a very powerful tool and it all depends on how much practice you have with it, but also how you want to use it. Remember that not everyone uses the tools in a similar manner. Some people may use HSL as their primary tool to alter and to create their edit. In my case, I like to use it as the final step to just nail down any specific colors that I missed. Now, before I go, just a few tips. Remember to be a bit more conservative with your movements in this tool. You don't wanna go all the way to the extreme, otherwise you can end up compromising your edit. Another one is that if you're not quite sure which color you need to alter, use the eyedropper tool to select them and just move the sliders around with the eyedropper, that's a great way. And finally is to practice. Master this tool, practice with different combinations to see which one is more appealing to your eye. So if you achieve some knowledge out of it, like the video, subscribe, all those things. I'm Tony Fuentes. Cheers to all of you and see you in the next one.